Hey folks, Heck Grace here. Welcome to SnowRunner, the successor to Spin Tires and Mud Runner. I decided I'd pick this up on the Epic Store for $39.99. See what I thought of it, and if I liked it, I'd share it with the channel. So, the fact that you're watching this video should tell you something. Let's get straight into this. This is an off-road driving game. Uh, it's all about navigating uh, the harshest of places to try to get a vehicle and to try to help the local community at the same time. So here we are in Michigan. Thank you for joining our recovery and maintenance effort after the great, uh, after the devastating flood. We need all help available to repair the bridge that collapsed. It's our only link to the other side of the river. First, you need to find a watchtower to get a view of the surroundings. Then you will have to find a truck capable of transporting the materials needed to repair the bridge. After the bridge is repaired, you will be able to reach your first garage. All right, sounds good. So let's do this. Here we go. Let's get it started, take off our emergency brake, and get driving. I want to go ahead and throw on the all-wheel drive since we're on some bumpy, uneven dirt here. It talks about driving in low gear. We're not going to do that right now. It talks about all-wheel drive. We do know about that. I accidentally hit the handbrake, which caused me to come to a sudden stop right there. Right in the mud. Exactly what you don't want to do when you're trying to use momentum to get through things. Luckily, this little road is very tame, so no worries here. All right, let's get up here to this watchtower, see what we can see. All right, it's going to take off the all-wheel drive now that we're on the tarmac. And I will show you something here. This is the bridge that is washed out right over there on the right side of the screen. We will uh, get to repairing that as soon as possible. Hopefully have it repaired by sundown. There is a day-night cycle in this game. There is also weather. So the physics, um, as far as the off-road trail deformation and uh, just the way the trucks react, it, it's, it's really quite amazing. I enjoy it a lot. So if you have any desire to play a game such as this this is probably the top top game that i can think of all right so this is basically just talking about different types of terrain and how to how to read them properly sometimes you change your driving style sometimes you have to change change your vehicle altogether we're gonna go all-wheel drive here go into this little washout a little bit slow so we don't damage our vehicle you can damage the vehicle and the vehicle will get dirty as time progresses actually it'll get dirty real fast there's not going to be much time progressing, that's for sure. Don't worry about those uh, numbers there on the uh, the prices for the fuel, because fuel in this game is free. So there we go. So what we're going to do here is reverse, get back on track to find that watchtower, which is right where that magnifying glass icon is. I'm going to, yeah, since we're, I don't want to go through this big puddle. I don't know how deep it is. This truck isn't very, I mean, it's a four-wheel drive truck and all, but it's not very modified at all. I think actually it's a stock. So with all-terrain tires. So we don't really want to be going too crazy with it quite yet. All right, so here's the watchtower ahead. Wonderful. Good job. You discovered your first watchtower. Discovering watchtowers will reveal parts of the map to repair the bridge. You will need a bigger vehicle to transport materials. Open your map to look at your surroundings. Objective. Find a truck capable of transporting materials needed to repair the bridge. Okay, we can do that. So we're going to open up the map. And now that we have went to this water tower, or water tower, this watchtower and visited it, we now have this huge circle of the map that opened up for us. <coughs> Pardon me. Sorry about that. And this is the truck we're going to go for. And then there's some uh, materials here and, and here that we're going to need to transport down here to this bridge. So that is where we're at right now. Let's get rolling. I will do something for you guys. I don't need to do it because I know this section of the map pretty well. But I will lay down some waypoints so you guys have a visual reference on where I'm planning on going. And it'll help you guys sort of see what I'm thinking ahead of time. I'll try to do that with most places that we visit. Unless it's just a place that we're going back and forth to a couple times, then I might not. Once I figure you guys probably are aware of it as well. I'm going to slow it down here. Went through a muddy bit. I probably should have went off to the side a little bit to avoid it, but it's not going to be a big, big deal. It's just going to slow us down a little. So there we go. Okay, we made it through. No worries there.
I pretty much, oh man, I pretty much always run in four wheel auto right now, at least early on in the game. Um, four wheel low is a lower gear ratio, sort of crawls along. You get to use your torque to get through some of these situations. And um, yeah, early on, it's not that big a deal. So we discovered this new truck here. It's now our truck. We found your first highway truck. This truck is designed for roads, so there's no off road options included. Try not to fall into the swamp or drive into deep mud with it. You can find out more about different types of trucks in the codex, which I've already read that, so don't worry about that. Enter the truck, hit the functions by pressing V. We shall do that. And these are some options over here to the bottom left. So if we get really stuck beyond anything that we can handle, and we're just we're just stuck dead in the water, we can always recover and it'll take us back to our garage. Refuel, we can call out a refuel truck. I haven't had to do that yet, so I don't know. I'm pretty sure that'll cost money, though. And it also shows some stats up there at the top right, or top left. So we're going to stop our engine to prevent us from using more fuel. And we're going to change our truck. And we're going to jump on over here to the GMC. There we go. Good. It's not the best truck for the job, but that it will have to do. The company Steel River Township is waiting for you to repair the bridge. You can find contracts like this one in the map menu. So if we go to the map menu, we're going to have contracts up here. So, Steer River Township, Old bridge, bridge Reconstruction. And first thing we need to do is deliver Old Bridge some metal planks. So, we're going to activate this. There we go. Additional markers have appeared. And the one in the town is a storage facility where you'll be able to pick up the required cargo. The marker near the broken bridge is a hard hat. Indicates the delivery location. Let's go out. Let's go check out the town storage. So, we're going to go there first. So, repairing the bridge. You are, we are now ready to repair the bridge. This truck has space for cargo. Every truck body or trailer has different cargo pack capacity measured in slots. This truck is able to transport two slots of cargo. Objective, find the materials you need to repair the bridge and deliver them to the bridge building site. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to go ahead and map it out again for you guys. Again, so you just are aware of where I'm going. This is pretty simple. Just go up into town here, hook a left, go down to the last road, and make a right. There we go. That should pretty much get us there. Just take off the handbrake. That would help. Now, I am using the keyboard and mouse. I did try to use the, uh, the uh, Xbox One controller. I had some issues with the camera linking in with the steering on the on the left stick so every time i went to steer my camera would go swinging all the way around my truck whatever direction i st steer i went steering like doing 360s around my truck made it really hard to drive maybe dizzy too so here we go i'm sure they'll fix that in the near future probably don't have that problem with the console otherwise there'd be lots of people screaming about it. maybe there are lots of people screaming about it i don't know i'm busy, too busy playing the game to be on the reddit so all right bounce this thing onto the onto the tarmac here and let's get going go ahead and we're gonna treat those stop signs and street signs as, and speed limit signs as advisory signs I'm gonna be I haven't seen any police in this game yet, so... I mean, other than me, but... Yeah, I'm not giving myself a ticket. That'd be silly. How, how in the world... How in the world would you, uh... How in the world would you do that in court, right? The weirdest... That'd be the weirdest cross-examination ever. Okay, here we go. We're gonna stop right here. Put on our supplies. Always keep in mind that every cargo has different size and requires a particular number of slots. Gotcha. All right, let's back this thing up best we can. Try not to destroy anybody's house too too badly. And we're off through the stop sign here. Yeah, I said I was going to map this stuff out for you guys. Sorry. This is really simple, actually. And then we're just going to head down this road. 
through the washout. This is the main road that we've been coming up and down on so far. There we go. Right, this is where we started at down here, so. Try to swing this a little bit wide so I can take it at speed a little bit better. Car is shifting around back there. You guys see that? I wonder if you can actually have it dump out. If you get too sideways, your cargo falls right out. But then you sort of like recover your truck. I don't know. I bet you can. I bet you can. I don't think that car goes like virtually welded into the bed of the truck. Probably gonna worry about that. I'm gonna slow down a little bit here. Just a little bit. There we go, just so we don't take any damage. Getting repaired once you get to your garage. It's free, but I'm, I'm just trying to try to play it as clean as possible in this dirty, dirty world. All right. We're almost there. This is a bit of a jerky turn, but hey. We made it around. Okay, here's the unloading area right here. All right, let's unload. Get that bridge started. Looks good. Looks good. Okay. Back this thing up. And now, straighten up here a little bit. Show you guys on the map. So the next thing is, great. Okay, let me see here. Um, yeah, it's the same message as before. Deliver to the old bridge two wooden planks. Uh, and then once the bridge is complete, we get $2,100 and 350 experience points. So the next place we need to go is over here to the lumber mill. So we can get the sideboard trailer if we need it. But we already have a trailer capable, so we don't need that. So we're going to go right over here to the lumber mill. So I'll map it out here. Don't worry too much about this washout. It's not it's not that deep. I only speak because about that because I'm pretty familiar with this region. From test playing this a little bit. However, my first time through I was I was pretty worried about that washout. It looks pretty pretty substantial on the map, but it's it's not that bad. And the map does have some details in it you really got to pay close attention to. Sometimes you'll see a rock slide on the map, and if you're not looking real close, you won't notice it. But it'll be there, and you won't notice it until you get right up to it. And you're like, oh, dang, there's a rock slide right here. Can't get it through. Or there might be some, like, power lines that are down. And sure enough, it'll be on the map. But if you're not paying attention, you'll think you can go right through it because it looks like a road. So this is it right here. I mean, it's, it's really nothing at all that what that was the washout right there okay let's continue on let's get this bridge built now you have to get to your first garage first in uh, single player before you can actually open up and play multiplayer so if you're wanting to play multiplayer just do this what I'm doing right here get your first garage and then at that point you can join up with your friends and I took a little bit of damage went over that a little too too aggressively that's okay but yeah if you're wondering why it's not letting you I'm not sure how detailed it goes into about why multiplayer isn't available but that that's the reason okay cargo management here we go so we're gonna auto load this and it'll affect our fuel consumption and all that that's okay we're not going that far we have plenty of fuel no concerns whatsoever I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but there is a day-night cycle in this, and there's also weather. So There's rain on this particular map in, in Michigan. I'm sure in Alaska and Russia, there's probably snow. There has to be blizzards and stuff like that. That would just be a lot of fun. I have not played those maps at all. So far, absolutely loving the game, though. It's really relaxing, but challenging. It's simple all at the same time. 
So here we go through this little creek here. I'm going to slow it down just a little bit. Just enough so I don't bottom out anywhere. Cause any damage to suspension components. She's an old truck, but I want her to last another 50 years. Yeah, she's doing pretty good, actually, for us. Handle that little trail like a boss, didn't it? Okay. Trail boss. All right. Here we go. At the bridge. Now I can finish it off finally. Collect our rewards. Looks great. New driver rank unlocked. When you get enough experience, you get a new driver rank. Every rank provides you with new options regarding vehicle and add-on purchasing. Objectives may also require you to reach a certain driver rank before they are unlocked. Press F4 to access your driver profile. So here we go. Here's the driver profile. Shows our progress here. In the different regions, including overall. And yeah, you can, guys can check that out. Here also shows what contracts we've done. There's quite a few contracts tasks yeah even more tasks it looks like contests uh, so far these are the contests that we know about right in this area i believe um and then achievements such as like broken horse drive one kilometer with all broke all wheels broken <laughs> i don't plan on doing it i guess if push comes to shove and i have to do it i'll do it but let's head on through here i'll show you where we're heading next step is to oh i haven't unlocked it yet let me see here except we got to complete our contract to get our experience and our money there we go it basically just says what i just read a second ago bridge repair great job you repaired the bridge and completed your first contract now the town is reconnected to the rest of the region time to find the garage which is now marked on the map object to find the garage we can do that all right so now we have a new mission here right here's where we're heading to this garage so what we're going to do is we're basically going to head up this way and then down this way and into the great unknown for now but they're uh yeah you'll see i'll show you why i'm going this way here in about 20 seconds all right so there's a little sign sign here it says gas that way and garage this way so either way we'll get you there i just think this way's a little bit easier In the direction of that gas sign, there are some down power lines. That you kind of have to get up and around it. This truck's a little bit, um, a little bit, uh, well, it's not the most agile beast in inventory, so probably avoid that road if possible with, uh, with a larger truck like this. Even though it has proven itself quite capable, it's just some narrow, uh, turning to get around those uh, the down power lines through the forest. All right, we have a farm over here to the left. We got ourselves a little, little, a couple trailers and some small houses over there to the right. There's also a, a watchtower back there behind those trailers and houses, sort of in the marsh. There's no way this truck's getting to it. It's back in some pretty swampy areas back there. That's all right. So what I'm going to do here is just kind of go... This is pretty shallow. Let's stay right in the middle here. There we go. Try to get my truck under control there. There we go. And here's my garage. Complete with truck services. All right, we got ourselves a new upgrade. Garage discovered. You have discovered your first garage. What you've done so far is the meat of the game. Explore and discover watchtowers. Complete contracts to earn re rewards and find garages to improve or buy new vehicles. Now let's get inside. Hold on. I want to get this upgrade. Engageable all-wheel drive. It disappeared real quick, but basically it's not available for this truck 
it's available for some other vehicle. So yeah, we can do upgrades inside the garage. That's, that's what it basically said right there. You can use the garage to turn your truck into a real monster. The local swamps will be your new stomping ground. When you're ready, take on a contract and get yourself out there. Rewards for this contract was 200 experience points, $850. Okay, let's move into the garage here. Let's go ahead and retain this truck, which will place it in our garage. So now, if we go here, right there's available truck right there. So, okay, no active truck at the moment. That's okay. What we'll do is we're going to go out here to the global map. Oh, it wants us to go to the uh, Alaska region first for this travel tutorial, just to show us how to skip between regions. That's all it's doing. I don't have to drive there. It's just showing. So we're going to go here, go in here, there. We've completed the the requested uh, tutorial to go there. And now we're going to head on back to Michigan here. So what we're going to do is go get this Chevy truck and then click on this. We'll jump in it. Now the flatbed that we dropped off, that GMC, is uh, back in our garage. Now we have this one ready to go. We can do, go do some more exploring. And let's see here. Let me uh, take a look here at the map, see where I want to go. I definitely want to go get this upgrade first. So I think what I'll do is I will come down. I don't want to go after this. Okay, there's some... I might go up here. No, here. Up, up, up. Yeah, that looks good. So what we'll do is we'll take this, this trail, this familiar trail, out to the main road, head north. Oh, I missed it. Hold on. No, no, I wanted to keep going. Up this way, get off here, get into this trail, take this trail up this way, then up the mountain to the upgrade. We'll see if that works. Looks good to me. Let's let's give it a go. All right. Yes, I think I think uh, it's evening time. These uh, shadows are starting to get kind of long. Nice and easy. Didn't take any damage. That's good. Take it slow through this little dip. This dip can get you. It'll reach up and bite you. Damage your vehicle's pretty easy. Seems like. Whoa. It's getting a little bouncy in there. Oh, damn. Oh, that, there's another one. I completely forgot about. Yep, I got you. All right. As you can see, my truck's getting all muddy. <laughs> It'll get worse. Don't worry. It gets worse before it gets better. Actually, once you go to the garage and come out of the garage, I, I believe it, you get a car wash. Like automatic car wash. People looking at this guy, and I'm like thinking to myself, thumbs out. <laughs> Keep your thumbs out of the wheel, especially on this crap. Don't break your, you're going to break a thumb. All right, let's turn off the all wheel drive, go two wheel drive. And we're off. And we'll engage all wheel drive again, real, real quick here. Ah. Went in a little too aggressively. I was seeing how fast I could go into it. I was hoping I'd make it, but apparently not. I was testing the limits. Oh, you know what? Let's, uh, we got plenty of gas, but you know what? Since we're here, what the heck? It's going to take like half a second. Throw 11 liters in there. All right. So we're going to go up here and then up this way. It shouldn't be too bad. I don't think we're going to need to... I don't think we're going to need to shift into four low at all. We 
should be able to just ride the, the four auto up there most of the way. Wow. Pretty. Real pretty. Look at that. That's just pretty. It's pretty. <laughs> Look, I, I bent my plate all up. Uh, that seems about right. I'm trying to remember. I don't. I don't think Michigan requires front plates. I think they're off on that one. Hmm. I know most of our neighbors in Ohio because Ohio requires front plates until July 4th of this year. Then we're getting rid of the front plate. Thank God. Even though my first pursuit started because of a front plate on a hit skip vehicle that actually hit hit and ran like oh god how did i not take damage there it hit and ran like three cars but i digress um ohio is going to get rid of it but i think if i remember correctly most of our neighboring states do not require it i always have to look it up not it's not even thing I, something i nitpick about so i don't even care but I, the last time i looked it up i think that was the case i'm not sure if michigan requires one or not let me know in the comments. I don't feel like looking it up right now. Too busy driving. Too busy having fun. Okay, now we need to go this way. Hairpin to the right and up a mountain. <laughs> oh yeah, the sun's starting to get low. That's okay. That's okay. It gets more challenging when it's dark, but a lot more fun too. I think. All right, here we go. We made it. We made it. What upgrade did we get here? I think it's suspension. Let's check. Yep, yeah, it's suspension. Okay. So, raised is available for installation. So, it's a free upgrade. I mean, like, once we get to the garage with this truck, it's free. So, assuming it works on this truck. I think it does. I'm like 99% sure that this will work on our truck here. So I'm going to back this up here with a really slow reverse 180. And then I'm going to try... I'm not going to go down that cliff. I'm going to find a better path. I think I'm going to take that path down towards this gas station. So I'm going to come down here and then, yeah, go down basically this way. We should be able to get our way down there. And then we'll head on back to the uh, garage, get some uh, upgrades, mod this truck a little bit, and then we'll go do some more exploring the first watchtower I want to get to is actually north of the town so we're going to come back this way again but I do want to get to the watchtower that's just north of the town first okay let's just oh, get heavy on the brakes there kind of let it slide down the hill let gravity and traction do its thing. Gravity and friction. Up and over the hill. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just being silly. I could just stay on the I could just stay in this little channel, but goofing off a little bit here. Okay, made it back to the room. Without taking any damage. Alright. And that's how it's done, folks. Let's go back to two-wheel drive and enjoy a nice little sunset drive. Back to our garage. I'm kicking off a bunch of mud. I am. I'm just throwing off clods of mud, man. Look at that. It's a little slick. Oh, look at that. I'm leaving mud tracks on the ground. And it's a little slippy. My, uh, my traction's a little bit slippy. I wonder if that's going to stop throwing off mud clots here in a minute. Or if it's just going to keep doing it. Whoa, let's not hit those rocks. That looks like something that should be on ways. Oh, or that telephone hole. <laughs> Alright. I love the sunset. Makes everything so pretty. And then all that rich color that I love just disappears. All right, let's put on all-wheel drive. I almost hit a birch tree. 
Uh, yeah, that's another thing that seems to be in all my my games, birch trees. Yeah, the stars are starting to come out. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful night. I'm going to get rid of the music here once we get to the garage. I just wanted you guys to hear, have the full experience of the game so you know what you're getting into. And then I like getting rid of the music because this gets a little redundant after about three hours of it. A little repetitive. A little tank slapper. There we go. Switch into all-wheel drive again. There's a farm over here. We'll have some missions to do there. Oh, 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 oh. Eyes on the road. Eyes on the road, Acuras. Eyes, eyes on the road. That's what I get, right? Need to focus a little bit better here. It's definitely active steering, active piloting on this, uh, on this game. There's no just set and forget, that's for sure. Alright, I'm slowing it down just because I didn't want to crash my nose into the water. So I'm about to get free repairs, but there's a floating stick in there. This game truly is magical. Alright, we can repair that broken down truck right there too. We just need to get the right equipment to do it and it can be added to our garage we can also we can also sell it get money so on and so forth um so let's see here we're gonna customize this thing let's go ahead we got 8850 for cash okay we're gonna raise this and that comes for free suspension connects your wheels to the body of the vehicle you may want to raise your suspension to help cross the most hostile terrains like rocky hills and mountain roads lower suspensions perform better on flat surfaces i'm not too worried about flat surfaces they're not the things I'm getting stuck in. So there we go. Let's get that. Install that. So we raise that. Let's throw some tires on there. Now, we don't have access to... I'll, I'll slow down here for you guys. This is, these are the highway tires, right? You get some higher highway tires. Uh, All-terrain tires. I think that's what we're going to have to go with because these other ones, these off-roads, they're, <laughs> oh, they're beastly, man. Look at all that rubber. They're, uh, they're locked. Okay, so reach rank 4 to unlock. Uh, 4,300 left, so... Anyway, we can actually take these tires and, and I think with similar vehicle types, like if the scout vehicles, things like that, you can interchange these. So this this will not be stuck on this truck forever if I get another vehicle that's similar to that. Some mud tires, and then we have chain tires. Look at that. So anyway, let's go with the, uh, the 38 all-terrains. That should help out a lot. Let's purchase that. This part is also suitable for another another trucks you own. Okay. It's a little... The grammar was a little off there, but I think we all get the message. So there we go. That's starting to look a little more like it. I can't get a winch yet. They do have winches, but it's a little too much right now. So I have to earn a little bit more money doing some different things. Diff lock. Uh, engageable. That would be nice to have for sure. Now, I don't know. The diff lock, because that's actually a part that's internal to the truck... I don't know if we'd be able to actually transfer that to another vehicle or not. Frame add-ons, we can do roof racks and things like that. Snorkels. Uh, at this point, if this truck is that deep in the water, it's it's pretty much done for, honestly. Um, so yeah, because I don't have a I don't have a winch to get it <laughs> to get it out. It just become a submarine at that point. Okay, so engine. There's no other engine upgrades that we can do either, or gearbox stuff at that at this point. So. There we go. Let's go ahead and leave the garage. Oh, it wants us to travel to Alaska region. Okay, let's do that real quick. This is just part of a... We just got to go through the motions here. So there we go. We've come to the Alaska region. Now we can head on back. It's literally all it wanted us to do. I think. Yeah. Okay, we ready to go? Leave for us? Oh, it wants me to do more than that. Okay, hold on one second. I thought I did. I gotta actually go in here. Okay, let's do that. Okay, 
it wanted me to actually go into Alaska just to teach me how to do this. So here we are. We're in Alaska. Our garage is empty right now. So we're just going to head right back to Michigan, which is where I want to focus my time anyway. So let's... Close? No. What if I go back? Yeah, okay, same thing. Hmm. Well, I want to go into the garage. What's this? Farming tools? So we need a trailer for that. I'm not really interested in that right now. I want to go do some more exploring. I'm still in Alaska, aren't I? Yeah. Get me out of Alaska. What you really need to teach me is how to get back. Pipe dream. I need a heavy fuel tank or semi-trailer for this one. No. Out with the old. Oh, it's a drilling site up here. Saddle high is required. Maybe later. Let me zoom in really tight here. There we go. That's what I wanted. I didn't want to click on that truck because that truck's all broken down. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Let's leave the garage. Ooh. It's all dark and spooky. That's more like it. And I'm turning the wrong way. Going the wrong way, folks. All right, so I'll show you guys where I'm heading here. That's a trailer store. It's where you can buy different types of trailers. We actually have some that are given to us right in front of us there, parked. So they kind of supply you with them. But you can see the different. Here, let me go over this side. that will be easier for you guys to see. So there's one right there. Get rid of that. And that's a little fuel carrier. And then another. That's a smaller flatbed. So... There we go. That's what we could get for this truck in particular. But we're not worried about that right now. We're worried about doing some more exploring. So let's see here. I think first place we shall go explore is the place that I really want to go to first. And that is... All the way down here. Back to the main road. Not worried about this one. This doesn't reveal anything worthwhile at all. Done it. I was severely disappointed. So there's no... I guess the only thing you get out of it is experience points, right? And then we'll head on up here to this watchtower. That's where I want to go first. Definitely has that film grain effect on, doesn't it? I know it's an option, so. Gotta be a little more careful on these roads. This, this is a little bit more difficult to... Yeah, dangerous water, whatever. What am I on, 38, 38s? Come on. Should not be an issue at all. I'm not even an all-wheel drive, I just realized that. I was real, literally just cruising along there two-wheel. I wonder if I can just run rear-wheel rear wheel drive right now. How far I can get with it. Yeah, starting to get a little... Nope. Nope. No big deal. Now we're back on the, t on the road, so... on here I think it gives me a little bit more control as far as steering goes when I'm in the in the muck Back 
on the road again. Should be on the road for quite a while now. Right up until we make it to the washout at least. But this washout, just keep it in two-wheel drive. Try not to high center yourself on the start of the guardrail there. I almost did. They keep putting these barriers back up like they matter. Don't they realize it's just resistance is futile. There's a Christmas tree down there, it looks like. I don't know what time of year it is, but oh, you guys can probably see my truck did get cleaned. Also. Yeah, okay, yep. You talked me into it. With these low, low prices. There we go. Well, let's try not to knock over their mailboxes. At least be nice to them about it. Try not to vandalize their property when they give us fuel for free. It's a nice neon sign for such a sleepy little town. Whoa. Irish pub, huh? It's open. It'd be cool to go in there to get missions. Hey, my stupid stepbrother flipped his truck. He can't call a tow company because he's hammered drunk. Can you help him out? Yeah, all right. I'll be right out there. All right, so here we go. This is a tough, tough spot. I've been stuck on this more than I've made it across this little spot here, but I've never tried it with 38s and raised trucks. So I think I'm going to be in a little bit better shape this time. Put in a four low. starting to pull ourselves through nicely yeah that, that wasn't so bad that wasn't so bad come on keep it going still got clearance there oh yeah we're not getting bogged down at all are we we made it wow that was way easier than stock tires at a stock height all right let's launch the observation Okay, upgrade location discovered. Let's check it out. Upgrade. All right. We also got ourselves a Scout 800 and a gateway to the Smithville Dam, Dam, which is another part of the Michigan region, and a trailer store over here. So um, let's head. What? Hmm. I say we go. Let's get the Scout first since we're right here I don't know how hard it's going to be to get across here I, th I think it's just about as bad it's equally sucky either way and then basically head on over here head up this little switchback and around here and there's our scout okay let's do it I got my 56 waypoint plan Ready to go. I'm going to try to get across here. Oh, God. Yeah, I think I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to try it. We'll give it a go. We should be all right. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, man, that was. That was smooth, man. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Keep going. Keep going, 38s. Keep going, 38s. Keep going. You got it. You got it. Come on. 
Yeah, we made it. All right, folks. <laughs> I was a little nervous there. I was a little bit nervous, but we kept moving forward. Now, it's, I get really nervous when we're doing that, and then it just stops. Sometimes you can rock your way out of it, seesaw your way out of it, but man, the odds go down a lot once you stop. As long as you keep moving forward, that's the big... That's the big thing right there. Okay, geez, I can't, it's hard for me to even see the trail. I got it though. And like, I could just so easily just drop off. Come on, baby. Was it really that bad right there? Really? I'm not stuck. Don't you even say say that. Okay, we're, we're coming out of it. We're getting onto some dry ground here. We got at least one wheel pulling us. Two wheels. Three wheels. Four wheels. All right, we're good. We're good. Get that message out of there. It's so annoying. I need to turn tutorials off, but I have a feeling there's still a few tutorial tips that I haven't actually seen yet, so I don't want to do that and then miss those. Okay. How does a game... How, how do games anymore have, like, three hours of tutorial tips? Like a three-hour introduction to how to play the game. Your game's too complex. If you have to do that, <laughs> it's too complex. Man, this is... This is some billy goat mountain... Bram type type trail right here. This is kind of freaky. Like, holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh. Alright. Alright. We're making it. Here. <laughs> Don't, I'm just hitting trees and stuff. Better than hitting the bottom of a Cliff face. Roof first. Man. I think we've I think we're coming up. Yeah, this is the final turn here. This is that wide turn. Now I get to go and do this all over again, heading down the hill. Yay. Oh look at this. Man, who who brought all the materials up here to build this house? <laughs> this is one motivated person right there. All right, we made it. We made it. New truck discovered. Scout 800. Check this thing out. I like this thing. I like the Scout actually a lot. Oh, no, we're going to leave that on because when we get back to this truck, we want it on. All right, so let's jump in the Scout here. Let's stop our engine. Change truck. Jump in the Scout. Winch is connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The winch bone's connected to the whatever. All right, so I think we're going to leave this up here. Take this back to the garage retain it at the garage come back here like warp back here jump in this take this back to the garage save it there and then we can start doing some real real work some man's work all right i love this little scout it's got diff lock check that out it's like always on though so once i put my all-wheel drive on we're going like for real four-wheel drive for real all right so how do i want to get out of there um, I think, you know what? I think I'm going to try. I'm going to try to actually make my own. You know what? Let's go around this way. Make our own way down this way. This kind of looks like a little bit of a trail. See if we can't sort of like get it down, get down the hill that way rather than go all the way back around. I think we can do it. I have confidence in my abilities. You should too. I want to modify this thing. That's what I really want to do. I want to modify this. Let's see if I can lift it or not. Oh, we can also get that uh, on the way back. We can get that upgrade as well. Okay. Pretty sure that treat would hurt if I hit it. I think that was good. Holy sh Nikes, it's a steep. Okay. Holy crap. This feels really steep, guys. Man, if this was in VR, this would be so great. 
Yeah, it's uh, it's saving. It, I, it always wants to save right when I'm about to do something real sketchy. I mean, like in reverse. All right, we made it. Hey, check it out. It's the road. We made it. I think I made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Haha. <laughs> you guys want to see what the other other area looks like? We can travel to Smithville Dam. So we go through these tunnels. So we're going over to the Smithville Dam region of Michigan. USA. Yeah, that's amazing looking. It's so dark. Can't see crap. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, let's travel along back to Black River. Yeah, we're going to skip that scene. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's see here. Where do I want to go? I want to go get this. Oh, do I want to go get this upgrade? I do want to go get this upgrade. All right, so we're going to take this road back, main road, back into town. Oh, hold on. Is that a... Yeah, that's a rock. We got problems there. Can't get through. Can't go that way because there's marsh. Can't go that way because there's just like nothing but forest and more rocks. And it would probably be more trouble than it's worth. So we're going to have to reroute. Actually, there's an easy way to get rid of those. Okay. Um... Okay, so I think what we do is we just head down here, take this road. No, no, let's not do that. That's too far off the road. I don't have to drive off the road to hit my markers to get them to go away. Does that lead up to the... It does lead up to the upgrade. So, go this way. Head up here. I think we can get through there. Should be able to. That'd be some dirty pull if they... Okay, I, I, I guess I can... Hold on. I guess I can spin this. Yeah, we can get through there. Okay. Good stuff. Let's roll out, guys. Let's get this upgrade before I have to end the video. I think we can do it. Seven minutes? Nah, no problem. No problem. I think we go off-road right here, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Holy crap. Oh, you know what? That helps. Lights on for safety. And, you know, being able to see. I love this. I love this little scout thing. Man, it's, it's great. This is a little billy goat. And I think you lift this up and you put some off-road or some larger wheels on it at least, even if they're all-terrain. Get some 35s, 38s on here. Mmm. Delicious. That, that mud's ne never tasted so good. So far, not not bad at all. This this has been very tame. I like this Scout better than the uh, than the Chevy, honestly. Probably because it has the diff lock, and it's the most Jeep like. I mean, honestly, for this type of stuff, this is where Jeep shines, right? And I, I can't believe they have an off-road game that doesn't have Jeep brand in it, <laughs> like anywhere. Like, good God, how does that happen? Like, one, how does a game maker overlook that? And two, how, where the hell am I going? Oh, this is still the trail. Holy crap. Am I going, am I going the right way? Yeah. Okay, so we're going down a trail and then we go back up another trail. So we're just going down the link up on another trail here. But how does that happen? Like, the game maker overlooks it or Jeep or they didn't overlook it and then Jeep said no so someone dropped the ball somewhere it was either the game maker or or Jeep and if Jeep, Jeep should be like hell yeah put our vehicles in there that's what we're all about 
Who knows? Maybe it's like a... I think it got plans for it for the DLC or something. <laughs> Maybe. I'd buy that DLC. I'm not big on buying DLC, but I'd probably buy that one. Oh, jeez, that was so sudden and surprising. Oh, here's the rocks that I was worried about getting through. And there's our path. There's the path that got us through. All right, folks, and there it is. There's the upgrade right down here. Well, we made it there without getting any, taking any damage. That was good. Another house in the middle of nowhere. What is it? Oh, uh, 8V. 5.2 so it's a v8 5.2 v8 with a commas instead of periods again oh you europeans sure are cute with the way you do things okay <laughs> what do you say 8.2 liter v8 or do you say 8 comma 2 liter v8 come on you know what you say you say point what's a point it's not a it doesn't have a little tail a point doesn't have a tail okay here we go. I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm giving you guys crap. All right. Let's uh, see if we can make it down to the uh, garage. And then we're back in town. And I think you guys know the rest of the way from there. That's the main road. So I'm just going to illustrate that. It looks like sun's starting to come up. Let's see if we can get this into the garage. No, I don't think we're going to do it in the next three minutes. But we'll try. We'll try. We'll see what we can do. If if any vehicle so far can do it, it's this one. I love this little this little four by four. Sliding it down out of the woods. Put it in a two wheel two wheel drive. Go, 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 go. Now, remember, there is a 10 second intro at the start of my video. So you got to take that off the mark that I'm looking at here. 58 minute or 58 minutes and 15 seconds. Can we do it? Ooh, I don't know. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. I don't think we're going to do it, but we're going to try. Screw you, gas station. Not this time. And I'm just going to... You guys are going to see bad things happen here. <laughs> oh, no. We can't go that crazy. That would have probably flipped our entire vehicle. Oh, great. Now I'm pushing a freaking barricade. Oh. It's a magical barricade. Eight minutes. Or 58... 59 59 minutes okay yeah we're not gonna make it but it was fun to try nonetheless oh man it handles just like a Ferrari only worse the way it took that turn it was beautiful Just as the sun's coming up. Got to get home for pancakes. Rather that or my vampire. Not sure. I'm about to die as soon as the first bit of sunlight hits me. That's where I screwed myself right there. Oh, it's one minute, four sec, Or one minute. One hour, four seconds. Uh, we didn't make it back in time. Oh, well, I guess I got to start this whole video over again. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's get this in here. 
see what kind of upgrades we can do to it. See if they're interchangeable. Or if I need to like bring the other vehicle back here maybe to do it. Maybe they both have to be in the same shop at the same time to take parts off of one, put them on another. Um, I'm not sure how that works. But I will find out. We will find out in the next episode for sure. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna warp my way over back to that Chevy truck and drive it back to the garage. I wonder if the Chevy lets me put in the, you know, 5 comma 2 V8, 8V, I'm sorry. The 8V 5 comma 2 engine. I'm just trying to be correct. I'm just trying to be correct. All right. Yeah, one hour one minute and 40 seconds i'm not even close but here we are so let's see here can i can i do it can i do it oh no it's locked explore michigan to find this i a race suspension kit good for venturing on now i think if i bring the chevy back i'll be able to put that on there i think it only lets me oh 35 to 39 that's a big jump holy crap 39s gee is it it looks like it's hitting the wheel well i mean just a little articulation and i'm just shredding this right here or shredding the tire actually oh yeah you definitely need it raised if you're going to be running 39s goodness oh how did they get 39s that's the size it gets what about these winches where's the winch go why is it not showing up on there it should be popping itself up right here i think right right on the bumper Oh, well. All right, guys. Well, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode of SnowRunner. Y'all take care.